Erev Tov, Chavri I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very interesting broadcast this evening. The real reason for Pope Francis meeting with Russian Patriarch Kirill. This happened, as many of you are already aware of, on the 12th of February here. And there's been a lot of speculation of why the two actually met. In fact, most people believe it is to bring about the one world religion. And no doubt that is certainly part of it. But my wife brought up a very interesting observation that I think you will find interesting in light of the breaking news that has happened today. And most people wouldn't consider it breaking news, but we're going to go into reason why in just a moment. And that is that Kirill went down to Antarctica. Her observation was, and she said this to me back when they announced the meeting, she said, I wonder if they're not going to meet in regards to Planet X. She said, no doubt, with the world on the verge of a major catastrophe, these two religions that have been at odds with each other for nearly a thousand years are coming together to try to figure out what to do in regards to humanity that's going to suffer one of the greatest catastrophes that it ever has. I think she was on to something. Let me share with you why we actually believe this in this little short broadcast here. Uh, in the article uh, that was put out by the Catholic Herald on February 12th of 2016, it ha as it happened, Pope Francis and Patriarch Creole signed a historic joint declaration. This is what many people are aware of. You can see the photograph that they posted. It is Creel. It says in the article, who has most reason to be satisfied with the meeting and with the statement, he has made a courageous and significant gesture in indicating that he sees restored communion as a goal with an affirmation that Catholics and Orthodox enjoy a shared heritage of the church of the first millennium. Why the first millennium? It was, I think, in uh, 1054 is when they actually divided the East and the West. Uh, the, it became known, as we call it today, the Russian Orthodox Catholic Church, which, all, which also uh, has in other parts of the world. It's in uh, uh, Ukraine and parts of uh, uh, South America as well. Uh, and then you have the, the what is known as basically the Greek Orthodox or the Catholic Church, uh, the Vatican, uh, and that's what Pope Francis is over. But these two are actually coming together, but not, not in the best of terms. But it seems to be something has driven them together. And I think it's more than just economic meltdown uh, as far as that goes there. Uh, as, as we continue in this article right here, or actually from Interfax uh, News Agency, they wrote an article as well under Religion, February 12, 2016. Uh, Patriarch Kirill arrives in Cuba for meeting with Pope Francis. Pope Francis had uh, admitted a few days ago that the meeting had been being secretly prepared for two years. Now, this is our photo that we took of Pope Francis recently when we were in Rome. I think it is fitting in regards to this news story here because he seems quite frightened as he bites on his nails there or appears to bite on his nails. Uh, the dates of the Patriarch's trip to Latin America and the Pontiff's visit to Mexico coincided and gave a chance to organize a historic event in the New World. All right. Now, it's interesting that he states that this would have been planned for two years. And you're going to see why in just a moment. But here's what is so striking. After their meeting, we find out today that the Moscow Times reported, uh, February 18th, 2016, Russian Patriarch Kirill meets penguins, holds a service in Antarctica. Now, what is, what is Kirill doing in Antarctica? In fact, what's really interesting, it's not even part of his tour. Watch what it says. Head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Patrick Kirill, has detoured from his Latin American tour to visit with penguins in the Antarctic. The Medusa News website reported Thursday. I mean, this is just totally bizarre. The only thing that I can think of why he would really, really go down to Antarctica is because there's a lot of scientific research going on down in this part of the world, and we believe that it's because they're tracking Planet X. Now, don't let that scare you because we're, we're already seeing now in the news this ninth planet that's been discovered. And there is a lot of hoaxes out there. This is one reason why I steer clear of Planet X altogether because there's so much debunked information, people thinking they see Planet X uh, because of a, a, a spot on a lens and a, and a CT 
uh, camera, things of that nature there. But then there's been some real serious evidence that proves otherwise. Now, let's kind of move on in the same article here from the Moscow Times. It says, Kirill arrived in the Antarctic to hold a communion service at the only active church on the continent, the Holy Trinity Church at the Russian uh, Bellinghausen Station on King George Island, but managed to take in a leisure walk among the penguins. Okay, so it's at the Russian Bellinghausen Station. All right, so you could justify that's why he goes there. But it just seems kind of odd that he meets with Pope Francis and he takes a detour trip. Now notice, it did say that his trip was detoured. It was not part of his scheduled uh, plan. It says, Creole, who had a historic meeting with Pope Francis of Rome in Cuba on Saturday, is currently on an official visit to Latin America until February 22nd, during which he will also visit Brazil. But why? You know, it's just really odd. Now, to give you some evidence as well that Nibiru actually is a real thing here, Let's look at uh, Nick Mercer's YouTube channel where he reports Nibiru new footage, 2015 Planet X. Um, and I want you to keep in mind, as I said, Pope Francis revealed that the, the planned trip with Kirill had been scheduled for two years now. Now watch what it says here. All right, keep this in mind. Uh, remember, Pope Francis admitted that, the two-year thing. Uh, well, KCRA in a live pre-dawn telecast on or about January 14, 2014, that's about two years ago, the morning news anchors of the NBC News affiliate KCRA in Sacramento, California, aired the live video from their own KCR news helicopter. In it, they reported an observation of a planet they could not explain. Now, take a look at the video. It is very interesting. Uh, Mike Mercer actually has on there where you can see the, the actual news broadcast. Uh, he's recorded that somehow and put it into his own video there. He does explain because it looks like an eclipse, but he explains from his perspective that it was actually Venus covering up this planet Nibiru or what may be considered planet 9 in our solar system. I can't really say yay or nay on that, but it's just kind of interesting that that was two years ago. Now here's another interesting possibility or coincidence. Russia, Vladimir Putin, eyes the South Pole in Antarct Antarctic expansion. May 30th, 2015, International Business Times reports this. Keep in mind, May 30th, 2015. Now the Russian Navy, watch what it says, the Russian Navy is looking to the South Pole assembling oceanographers, naval researchers, and scientists aboard the research vessel Admiral Vlad Vladimirsky for the first time since 1982. I don't say that's the ship there, I just picked this one off the internet. Uh, but it's interesting since 1982. Why was Russia there at the Antarctica in 1982? Well, if you remember any of those of you that have been doing research on Planet X, and by the way, this is not our Planet X video, this is just kind of off the side here because of Kirill and what he's doing. But in 1982 is when it was believed that it was first discovered about Planet X coming and that it was going to pose a major threat to, to the planet Earth. Uh, that was under Ronald Reagan, President Ronald Reagan at that time. That's when all of a sudden many things begin to change. To go into that into another video coming up. Anyway, Navy spokesman Igor Dayagalo told TASS that although the expedition will be headed by the Russian Ministry of Defense and Navy, he insisted that the crew's interests are scientific. Since when do you have to have your whole military force escort your scientists to the Antarctica? I mean, this is what's just strange. Now as well, May 30th. Do you remember what happened a month earlier? It's April the 3rd, 2015, International Business Time. Pope Francis hints at a retirement saying his role is exhausting. That's interesting. Well, in our own comment, it is just a coincidence that the Pope hints at an early retirement, then Russia plans a trip to the Antarctica with its military. Well, the article states here, during that interview, Pope Francis stated that he believed that God had placed him in the papacy for something short. He has also commented favorably on the resignation of Pope Benedict. Now, here's what we find kind of striking in all of this. It's the timing. Or is it just coincidence? Or is it a coincidence that 
Patriarch Kirill, after meeting Pope Francis, rushes down to the Antarctica. What really is going on? What was that meeting really about? Maybe it is about the coming of Planet X. Maybe they're concerned about what's going to really happen. After all, it's believed that Planet X came through the same time during the time of Moses when he was here, Moses and Aaron. It's also believed that it was came through during the time of Noah. At any rate, we'll have to wait and see. By the way, RT News also reported recently about the ninth planet. You guys already know, though, there's enough news agencies that have been reporting it that are legitimate news agencies. So there really is another planet out there that's coming. Is it Planet X? Only time will tell. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom. Good evening.